beautiful A350-900 breezes to type in business class with surprisingly great kids meal on board. Hi, I'm Tree Papa, a travel enthusiast and proud father of three. Discover family-friendly spots and tips for making the most of your travels. Join me, let's explore together. Hi Jakarta, I just arrived at CGK International Airport after an amazing 8-hour flight in Oman Air Business Class from Muscat, Oman. The experience was elevated at the Oman Air Business Class launch and it only got better on board the 787 Apex Suite. With lifeless seats and exceptional service, Oman Air Business Class is currently ranked number one among all business class services in my mind. Click the link below to watch the video. I got very short 90 minutes to transit in Jakarta. After 15 minutes waiting at the transit desk, I received my next boarding pass and head to the lounge. SkyTeam Business Class passenger can use Jakarta home base Garuda Indonesia Business Lounge. There was a selection of sandwiches, juices, coffee, tea, and cokes only today. On the other side, I found bread and Indonesian cookies to accompany the soup. The lounge also offered fresh-made popular Indonesian street food called Soto Ayam. Well, it looks great. The taste fell short of the original. The lounge environment was cozy but slightly dated. It had all essential amenities and good services, but some improvements in hardware maintenance and food quality would make it superb. As I made my way to the gate, I noticed the crowd since it was a wide-body aircraft. This time, I flew China Airlines CI-762 from Jakarta to Taipei on the A350-900. Look at this beauty, let's get on board soon. Business class passengers had the advantage of boarding early by passing the line. China Airlines business class cabin was beautifully designed. The ambient lighting creates a warm and elegant atmosphere like home. The seat was equipped with a pillow, a carpet, oh, oops, a blanket, and a three-point seatbelt design. There were reading lights and a dragon foot design personal lamp. The table had two storage areas, and there was even a small one inside the armrest. Business class occupancy was only 30% this time, providing ample space for filming. Additional reading lights in the ceiling. China Airlines signature welcome drink, dragon fruit juice, was served upon boarding. The spacious leg room offered a comfortable experience, and there was an additional storage area with blue lighting. A small touch panel allowed for adjusting the lamp and chair setting the mood for the flight. The food menu was delivered after the hot towel, showcasing a variety of main courses and drinks. However, I pre-ordered the kids meal to see if the business class food was suitable for children. Let's explore it together later! The folding dining table was conveniently located and sturdy. For the first-time users, there was a lock beneath the table. The storage area had several useful features, including USB chargers and a universal plug. On the other side, I found a headset jack and another USB charger. The remote control for the screen was cleverly hidden, although I personally preferred using the touch screen directly. The USB charger provided a superior 7.5 watt output above the average. This A350 was equipped with a black headset, which looks better than blue one. 
the safety card and onboard shopping magazines were also well designed. I bid farewell to the Oman Air flight I had just taken from Muscat. Until next time. Goodbye, Jakarta. We'll come back soon. The blanket had a business class label on it, with a bit premium. After completing some work, it was time for the seat and dining review. The seating mode offered great comfort, including a recline angle and a lie flat mode for sleeping. Approximately 19 minutes into the flight, the dining service began. The appetizer, seafood satay was absolutely delicious, although I wished for more serving. While waiting for the main dishes, I tried the snacks, which resembled the economy class version in green packet, containing cookies and green beans. Then I sampled the business class version in white packet, which came for four types of snacks, including almonds. Both options were tasty. Soon the kids' meal arrived. It appeared to be perfectly suitable for children, with all the ingredients cut into kids-friendly cubes. I got metal tableware. Not sure if our kids will be plastic or not. The meal included fruit, salad, and bread. With strawberry jam and a chocolate bar, and a strawberry flavor ultra milk. While eating, the flight attendants offer a garlic bread. How can I refuse the garlic bread? The main course was creamy chicken pasta. The flavors were mild, so I requested salt and pepper to add on some extra taste. To my surprise, I finished every bit of the meal. Something I never thought I could do it. It was the best China Airlines basic class meal I ever had. For dessert, a strawberry flavor again. You may have noticed the abundance of strawberry in kids' meal, but I still rated this dining experience nearly perfect. After the meal, it was time to review the loo. It was quite clean and featured cosmetic lights, a large mirror, tissue. Small cups in a storage area with lotion and perfume. On the other side, there was a Chinese-style painting with background music. With around two hours remaining until Taipei, I decided to lie down and take a nap. While in a lie flat position. I felt slightly exposed to the aisle, but it was still comfortable enough to fall asleep. Good night, friends. I was awakened by the stunning purple lighting, revealing a breathtaking night view of Taiwan from the air. China Airlines effectively used ambient lighting throughout the journey, gradually brightening before the final safety check. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe the channel, and turn on notifications. 
Welcome to Taipei International Airport. I'm happy to be back home. If you are interested in more China airline experience, such as A350-900 Economy Class or A330-300 Business Class and Seat Review, even there's a Michelin Green Stars on board. Check the link below to find out more. See you in my next video.